Hey guys, today we are discussing about the pedigree analysis. First, I will tell you what is a pedigree analysis. A pedigree chart is a family tree and it shows the members of the family who are affected by a genetic trait. So in this diagram, you can see the how four individuals <coughs> uh, affected by a form of color blindness. Normally in the pedigree analysis, the circle represent the female and the square represent the males. So in and each uh, and every family, there is uh, the Roman numerals, which stand for the generation in the family, and also in the digit stand for the individuals within the generation. For instance, if you look at the, this female at the upper left individual, we can name it as a 1-1. One, one. So what is the dark circle represent? So dark circle or the dark square represent an individual affected by the trait. In this pedigree analysis, the founding parents are the female 1-1 one, one, and the male 1-2. They are in the first generation. A male and female directly connected by a horizontal line which represent by they are married, they mated and they have children. So in this pedigree diagram, you can see there are three pairs have mated. First one is one one and one two. Here two two and two three and three two and three three. So what is the meaning of this vertical line? The vertical line connect parents to their children. Now, for instance, the female 2 1 and 2 2 are daughters of 1 1 and 1 1, one and 1 2. So, let me explain the overall of this pedigree analysis. The unaffected founding member here, it is a 1-1 one, one, and they married with the affected founding father, 1-2. So all the genetic diseases now transmitted through, through this father. And they have a two offspring, they are two affected daughters. Both daughters are affected with the color blindness. And this 2-2, two, two, the daughter, married someone from the outside, the marries into the family. It's a 2-3. The son, and after their marriage, they have a two offspring, 3-1 and 3-2, but they have one affected male. It's a 3-2, it's an affected male. And this affected male marries with the unaffected female from the outside, marries in, and they have unaffected son for one. So it's quite interesting, this pedigree, because they can be used to do some detective work and are often used to study the genetics of inherited disease. I will explain how, how to identify these uh, genetic traits. Is a dominant trait or it's a, if it is a linkage or X-link or autosomal trait and how to identify by looking this pedigree analysis in the next video.